Hey guys, welcome to today's episode. Today I'm going to show you my favorite toy. This is the Scavenger Pro by Bear Creeks. It retails for about two grand currently the way it's set up. I'm going to talk about uh, how I use it and who I think it's for. Basically there's three components to it. You have the wireless fish finder which can go up to 300 meters. We have we got fish biting over there. We have the boat itself. Uh, we have the remote control with GPS. This particular boat is called a bait boat because it has two bays that uh, we can drop our bait from. Uh, where chumming is legal, you could put chum in here. We don't use that uh, for chumming here in Colorado because that's illegal. But we do put our bait rigs in here, our bait hooks, and we drop it off wherever we want to go as far as we can go. There's also two hook releases in the back. So this boat would actually be pretty good for anyone fishing, even live catfish, uh, live bait, whatever. Hook it on here, run it out to where you want, drop it off. And with the GPS, you can find that same spot over and over. So as I'm cruising along, you'll see me looking into the fish finder. Once we find a good spot, I can lock that in on the GPS and we can do an auto return uh, an auto launch once we have that locked in. So uh, without further ado, let's get to it. All right, guys, when you first power up the uh, Scavenger Pro, you turn on the boat and the controller. It starts to search for satellites. I have nine now. What we need to do now is to uh, set the home point so that if it loses signal or if we want to come back without us having to control it, it'll know where to go. We're at 10 satellites. So I think that's plenty to start. All right. So now, we're going to go to home, starting point, save. Sometimes you have to turn it on and off because it freezes up. Try it again. Starting point. Save, call, save, hold down. Yes. Okay, so now we have our starting point saved. Uh, just to show you how the bay doors work with the remote, just like this, left, right, and in the back, you can have the, the two uh, hook holders up and down. You can control the lights from the remote, really good for nighttime. So let's get it loaded up. All right guys, so I'm gonna use a rod holder if you have two people, one person can hold the rod. That makes it a little bit easier. Uh, but it's not a big deal if you have a rod holder like this. Here's our bait that we're going to do. Uh, we got some pack bait on a spring. Today, surprisingly, they're hitting off power bait, power eggs, usually reserved for trout. Uh, pink is doing well for us. It's hooked to the pack bait to meet with uh, legal requirements. This is not chumming. Let's get it loaded. We're gonna put it underneath the boat, come out the other bay door side, close it, they're magnetic clasps. Uh, we're gonna position it somewhat forward. That should be good. All right, this is my Acaso EK7000 Pro, or as I like to refer to as a Yobro that I got off Amazon. 
I've got GoPro mounts on the front and the back. We're gonna throw this bad boy on so you can see the release. Just a luck of that. And let's turn it on. That looks like a good view. Make sure we're locked in here good. Sometimes I'll even tether it to be safe. But I think this case we're okay. All right. So let's take it down to the water. Okay, so back up the rod, you're by yourself and you want to open the bale and don't want it to tangle. I use a piece of foam, just a regular old piece of foam. I like to put it in the ring closest to the reel. So just a slight tension like that. Now I can open the bale. Make sure it's not hung up. Sometimes it's good to get the, the foam a little moist so that there's less friction. Okay, now we can power up the fish finder. It's ready to roll. We are good here. We're recording there. Let's do this. For the first run, guys, unless I see like a massive amount of fish, I'm gonna go for the center of the lake where we're not able to cast. Yeah, we have 12 foot rods and we can both cast out pretty far. I don't know, maybe at least a hundred yards. Um, but this will go beyond that. So for all the people that say, I can cast pretty far. Well, that's great. Let's see you get out there to the middle of the lake. All right, here we go. Forward. There goes the line with the foam. That's always helpful. Make sure it doesn't snag up here. And there it goes. Keep an eye on your line, make sure it doesn't tangle. All right, there you go, 12 foot, and there's a fish where it drops off. That's kind of cool. Couple fish right there. Shit, maybe we'll drop right there. So now we go to fishing spot number one, save. So now we're gonna drop. It was the left side, so left. I like to click both left and right, just in case I'm doing something wrong, up and down. The line is going down, so it looks like it dropped. We'll let that settle for a minute. And now, we can call it home. Escape, down, starting point. Call, hold down okay. Are you sure? Yes, I am. Thanks for asking. Call success. The boat's gonna turn around on its own. And head back to shore. As you can see, I am not controlling it.
and then we can turn on the bait runner. And that's it. Now we wait. Fish on, baby. All right, let's give this a try. <laughs> That's a big negative there. I touched the water, dude. God, what's up with this crazy dude? dude. Yes! He's got size. He's decent, huh? All right, ready? Oh, he's slimy too. One. Why are you telling me, crazy? Yeah, he's in slow mo, right? All right, tell your friends, Randy Curl Fishing made you famous. Send them all in. Lots of free food. Well guys, that's it. My field review on the Scavenger Pro by Bear Creeks. Who would I recommend it to? Anybody who fishes from the bank with bait. So if it's trout, catfish, definitely carp, even bass. You could use live bait in here and take it out as far as you want. Um, works really well in city parks, open space parks where real sized boats aren't allowed. Of course, the fish finder is handy. That'll help anybody find structure on the bottom, depending on the fish you're going for. So yeah, I would say anyone who wants to catch more fish and can't afford this bad boy, go ahead and hook it up. I'll have uh, links to where I bought it from, from Big Carp Tackle in the description. And I hope uh, you enjoyed it. If you did, please consider subscribing, liking, and we should have more reviews of different gear coming up in the future. I appreciate you watching to the end, and we'll catch you next time.